today for the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. And yes, guys, the Bitcoin whales are probably planning something very, very big for Bitcoin. Actually, they did something they have never done before in that scope. They are moving Bitcoin as never before. And I want to tell you what potentially is going to happen according to these on-chain data points here. I am going to share with you in that video. I will talk about Ethereum. I will talk about the charts, about my trades, my open trades, 5.4 million US dollars on Bitcoin and much, much more. I will talk about my future trades and obviously also about the price targets of mine here in the immediate short term for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. All you have to do is sit down, watch this video until the very end, smash up the like button towards a new all-time high. Smash it up as you have never smashed it up before. And now let's go straight into the content. I just wanted to show you here quickly from my rented uh, Jeep, this amazing neighborhood here, like in Ibiza, beautiful nature. I really love nature and I'm very appreciative uh, for, for being able to experience all of that here while making content, while talking to an amazing community like that and now let's go straight into the content guys thank you so much for always sticking with me for supporting me here on this amazing journey we are one crypto family going this journey together now i want to start coin chart and guys stick here with me until the end because the chart in it of itself has small bearish note whereas the data points i want to share with you are the most bullish i have seen since a very long time so we are here on the four hourly candles for bitcoin i want to share this uh, pattern with you you remember we broke out actually as i predicted from this rising wedge to the upside, I also predicted the bottom for Bitcoin and um, I predicted this breakout. I predicted 42,000 US dollars. I can say it with a lot of confidence because uh, you go back into the videos, even the biggest doubters, and you will see that this is actually what happened. Well, now the question is, because I still predicted that most likely we are in an uptrend. I also predicted that we are probably going to break the 42,000 and go towards higher price targets of 47, 51,000. What has ever happened with this prediction? Is it still intact? Well, First of all, let's focus on the immediate short term. And what you can see here on the four hourly candles is that Bitcoin is forming a head and shoulders pattern. Not the most beautiful one, but definitely a good one. Also pulling out the volume candles. Well, the only thing I would like to see is that uh, here on the head, we had would, ha would need a little bit more volume to get um, a volume profile like this. This is usually what you want to see. So it's not perfect, but still the shape looks good. And we have a downward sloping neckline. neckline. We have the left shoulder here. We have the head here and the right shoulder there so far I still don't think because head and shoulders pattern, they are not the most accurate ones when they break and when they break with volume, they break big times. So far, we didn't break yet. So this is not a bearish note yet. Only if we break it with significant volume, then we are going to retest of 36. And if this breaks, then I will say, hey, guys. I will change my bias. I will change to a bearish bias. So far, I am still in my bullish bias. And of course, on this bearish side note, if Bitcoin were to break towards the downside from this um, head and shoulders pattern, if we are breaking the neckline here, obviously the impact would be quite severe because it could mean that we are breaking down to 32,000, 33,000 US dollars. Obviously, if we get a bounce over there, there would be considered a confirmation of the breakout, but not one I would like because probably I would scale out of my trade here by breaking 36,000. However, we can see here this pattern unfolding. It is a potential scenario. I am still bullish. I am still looking out for 47 to 51,000 US dollars, but well, my alarm signals are right now set and I know exactly when I should be alerted and when I should know and uh, when I should scale out of my trade. Obviously, talking about my trade, 5.4 million US dollars over on uh, Femex. You can see it right there on the bottom right side. You see 330,000 US dollars in profits. Still quite significant. And the question is, am I going to stay in that trade? Yes, so far I'm staying. I'm not scaling out at all. If we are breaking the bottom of the head and shoulders pattern, if we are breaking 36,000, I am going to scale out. I am going to take at least half of the chips from the table because I do not, I do not want to be too proud to admit when I'm wrong. So far I'm not. Just want to tell you there's a possibility of being wrong always obviously so i am staying in this trade and obviously if we are breaking the previous high i am going to continuously scale higher in that trade if we are breaking 42,000 with significant volume i'm going to maybe double down even to 10 million us dollars on this trade so far i'm staying back and i'm letting the chart tell me what to do if you want before i'm going into ethereum and this crazy whale data stick with me until the end the data I'm going to show you is from on-chain metrics. So we are pulling data from the Bitcoin um, 
from the Bitcoin blockchain. And many people were asking me many times, Chris, how were you able at 9,000 US dollars to predict this massive run towards the upside? Well, I saw that people were withdrawing from exchanges. I saw that ways were moving big amounts of money and that they are hodling as they were never hodling before. I used a lot of these on-chain metrics and as you can see, it's solidified in the Bitcoin prices. So I will do the same right now. Uh, but before I'm doing that, I wanted to remind you guys, if you're going over to um, to the pin comment section and you want to trade as me, as I showed you my trade here over on Femex, I have 3,520 US dollars in accumulated bonuses down below, Bybit alone $1,600 and on Femex $1,200 and then I have Binance and everything. Go to the pin comment, click the Bybit link, step number one, make your own account takes like 10 seconds and after your initial deposit you get these bonuses down below for free you can trade with the bonus and with the profits from this free trades as well and now i want to talk about um, ethereum quickly before i'm going into the on-chain data from the whales and ethereum will be a very quick story nevertheless a very important one and as you actually remember if you are subscribed to the mm crypto twitter channel i was telling you yesterday i am so bullish on ethereum you know what let me retweet this I am so bullish on Ethereum. Why? Well, it's not really the Ethereum US dollar chart which is making me here bullish, uh, which is of course a good one. I mean, in the end of the day, we are still trending upwards. We broke out, out of this W pattern and we are still on track here of potentially breaking to a new high. In fact, Yesterday, Ethereum created a new high here, new temporary high, broke the previous high, whereas Bitcoin didn't do that. And this arises the question, how does Ethereum look against Bitcoin? And here you can see incredibly bullish. This is why I was telling you, after this breakout, I am bullish on Ethereum and Ethereum is still winning against Bitcoin. It's going up against Bitcoin and I do expect this to continue. This is why I'm bullish on Ethereum. This has not changed and my price targets are still the same. But guys, I, I, I really can't wait because I want to talk about these on-chain metrics, which in my opinion are one of the most astonishing ones since a very long time. Now, I want to not waste a little, uh, waste more time here. I want to go straight into it. And I want to share with you this Glassnode data. This is the balance on exchanges. And as you know, the balance on exchanges is, so to speak, the available circulating supply of Bitcoin being able, uh, being ready to be sold immediately. So, of course, we have the circulating supply of Bitcoin, which is like 9 million. But then most of these Bitcoin, they are on like hardware storages. People are not ready to sell them. But if Bitcoin are on exchanges, it's just like a click away. So, historically, the more Bitcoin were on exchanges, the more selling pressure, potential selling pressure we had on the Bitcoin price. The more people were withdrawing retailers, whales, Bitcoin from exchanges, well, obviously, we contracted the circulating supply and there was more pumping potential. Now, going into the charts, into the specific metric, the balance on exchanges denominating in the, denominated in the orange line, you can see this was going significantly lower. This is why I was so bullish since like April 2020 at 4,000, 5,000 US dollars, switching significantly bullish, seeing that the, contra the supply on exchanges was contracted, going lower, lower, lower. But then something happened. You can see it here on the top right corner when we hit 64,000. A lot of Bitcoin were deposited on exchanges. In fact, like 8, 10, 12 billion US dollars. And what happened afterwards? The price dumped. But look at this. We had the biggest single day withdrawal of Bitcoin on exchanges. And if I am going over here to the zoom, I'm zooming in here. Then you can see that on one single freaking day, more than 4 billion US dollars. Let me repeat that, guys. More than 4 billion US dollars were uh, withdrawn on the same day. And why do I think that this is significant? Let me go back into the chart. It is the same amount, almost, even a little bit more than it was deposited before. This looks a little bit like uh, the same whales who deposited their Bitcoin on exchanges in May to dump on Bitcoin bought back in cheaper and no withdrew the, these Bitcoin again. Obviously, this is just a theory. And even if this theory is not true, this statistic is very bullish because some whale were just, was just with, uh, withdrawing like $4 billion in Bitcoin on one day. But if this is true, then this smart guy, smart institution or smart group of people who was withdrawing at the all-time high to dump the price was now buying back in.
Let's wait and see what unfolds here. But I think this is an interesting statistic and it is a little bit contra contradictory to the chart pattern we are seeing right now with this head and shoulders pattern. I want to know from you guys, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that 28,000 was the bottom. Do you think that the bull market is going to continue and we are going to reach my price target and eventually break the 64,000 US dollars? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know and I want to join the discussion down below. Thank you so much for smashing up the like button always as crazy as, as you are. I mean, like two days ago, our video got like 10,000 likes. When I'm going live, we, live, we get like 12,000, 13,000 likes. In crypto space, this is unseen. Thank you so much for that, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Smashing up the like button, sharing the video among your friends. I truly appreciate it. And we are going to see you in the next one of Amman Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.